See me driving? Hey, for a makeover. You look like someone that knows what they want. I like that. such a pleasure to work for. I could do you all day. <laughs> Man. Tracy. Yo. Amanda. Amanda. You better not be. Not in my house. Fuck you, Michael. Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Oh. Fuck. Dead! Come here! Ah! Fuck, man. Hey, you! Stop it! 
What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the brick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> this truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body hooked to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? He'll wish he was dead. Is that a problem? See, the dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. Off to the left, right there. Straight ahead, man. The fuck is he doing? Hey, get out the way! Motherfucker! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. You see that little piece of shit? It's this track here. Hey! He in one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little bricks up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts. Michael, fine. You got the wrong idea, man. He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Yeah, he gonna feel this one, dog. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Push the pedal, huh? Are you fucking serious, nigga? Ha ah! Fucking A! Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man! Fuck! Fuck him! And yeah, fuck his deck! Hey, homie. I think you put a little more than a deck down. That's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Yeah. Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Whoa! Oh, Martin? Martin Madrazo? Shit! We got some heavies on us, homie. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. Hey, 
The essays is booked. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit, you did good. I mean, I don't know if you hit anyone because your aim's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Know you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Fuck. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
good working sip to pay the bills, you know? Oh, please. Ammunition! If you got a family, then you got people to protect. You look like a friend of mine. I accidentally shot at a party. <laughs> what are the odds, huh? Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. 
<laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, th I, th I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but. That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you! Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! 
I just want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously. Some guys borrow your bow. Burrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Yeah. Two bikes. Take your pick. I can come over right now. Yo, thanks. The green if I beat you to the end of the pier, Hello. you're buying me a new TV! End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Give it up, Dad. You've gone to see. This kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. Lie down, old man! Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you! It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs>
Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. Don't die. Don't give him the pleasure. Don't give up, even though you're losing. The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us. I mean, like, literally, it isn't. We're both kind of big. You shall not pass! Come on, Jim. Catch up. Imagine I'm a big, juicy burger. Jeez, holy shit! Jeez. Fucking beat! What the fuck? Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad? Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Ah, man. I like him. What's the problem? You're such Ask a jerk. Him. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. 
Yeah, well, so am I. Who's causing the scene of my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! So, Trace. Oh, God, look, they're shooting at us. We'll lose them down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Just go, okay, go. Back up, you pricks! I can't believe I sort of had sex with you, you psychopaths! Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea shark will be impounded! Come on, let us go! Looks like this is the way out! Oh my god, 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 they're gone! Oh my god! Oh, this is the worst! They're gone? Cool. You see, it's okay. I'll take you back to Jim. Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns. Yeah, huh? Well, maybe you're in the wrong fucking parties. There he is. Give me you, David. You! You fucking asshole! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life.
your hand out of my pocket. Fuck you. I'll send you back to the bosom of God. What miracle did you want me to perform? One hundred percent guaranteed.
Anyone want to pour Daddy a whiskey? No? I ate something funny. It's nothing more than that. Go away. I thought we got you over this, babe. Chamber dog. <coughs> I had a really heavy one. Don't you dare judge me, Dad. Nobody wants a fat daughter. <laughs> <laughs> 